What's up YouTube, what's up Jigsaw Peace, and today people we are bringing you episode number 14 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity Let's Play on the channel, and before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world. No! Now you guys, let's just recap on what happened on the last episode. Last episode, we ended up having a mysterious Pokemon appear, which turned out to be Umbreon. Umbreon ended up injured and battered and bruised and he turns out he had these cards and the cards create warp places and you can warp somewhere but he only has two of them and they're getting chased and he, he has his partner Espeon and they got split up so we're currently on the ventures of trying to find Espeon where I think we're actually in the middle of a dungeon so that's interesting we're gonna jump in right now it's probably gonna give you a, a little recap anyway yeah Umbreon said it Umbreon said he was separated from Espeon when an unknown a silent attacked them both Jigsaw and the team headed to the crag of laments to save Espeon and then <clears throat> let's go let's go look at jumping straight into the action that is we're not even two minutes deep yeah, yo. So I like it. I like it. Dead end. No, not dead end. See, this is why you look at the map because dead ends are dead ends, and that's kind of how things go. Kind of how things happen in this place. Dead ends happen. Um. All right, that's taking us back there. Oh, catch this ghoul chop. You ain't living. I like this music though. He'll see. Ooh. Alrighty then. Okay, so we're up to the seventh floor. We have no idea what floor we're trying to get to. Uh, I'm gonna move Imolga out because Imolga can quick attack. He protected himself. You little bitch. Yo, protect works so much better in this game than in like. Mainstream Pokemon game. Venipede wants to join the team. Hell yeah. Oh, now we've got to find a nickname for a Venipede. What do you name a Scolopede? What do you name a Scolopede? I do not know. I don't know, lads. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a check real quick on its Pokedex. Entry. Scolopede. Sarah B. X and Y. Let's have a gunder. It classes prey with its claws on its neck until it stops moving and it finishes off with deadly poison. Oh, that's just brutal. So, because it is brutal. Where is T? Oh, my, my eyes are deceiving me. What kind of A is that? Brute, 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 brute. Brutal! He's going to be sent back because I'm happy with our team at the moment. Although the V Weaver has changed while we were in a cave, so. Hmm. Because the problem is, it, ch it changed to a rock type. I saw it on the sniping screen. And, uh. It was flying type before, and now it's rock type, and that's kind of bad actually. It's win up. All right, we're through floor number eight. We have no idea how many floors we're going up here. No idea, but we're on the floor we need to be. However, oh slap that! Slap your daddy! There we go. Don't you poison him. Defense kill, don't be a little bitch. You only took one to take you out. Petcha, 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 Betty. Let's move up. We're on the ninth floor now. Jesus Christ. I, I need to stop looking at my DS and look at my capture card. I really do. <gasps> Got the barrel! Bartered! I should what? Putting in nothing but the finest, though. Nothing but the phone. Mm. Mm. Moga! I had to get Moga out there. He took Rock Blast, 
after rock blast, after rock blast, after rock blast, after rock blast. It was a stop. Oh, it's rolling. Just get out. Ow. Oh my god. That was deadly. It was actually deadly. Wait, that was a Pokemon. That was a Swoobat. All the way over there. I was just looking at it like, what the hell was that? Turns out it was a Swoobat. Swine Up wants to join the team, except Swine Up was funny. Yeah. Yeah, you know that you can be called. Manny. That's normally my name for swine ubs, pile of swines, mammoth swines. Manny, if the male, or. Or Ellie, if they're female. Ice Age, you know. Takes a toll on you, Ice Age. Takes it all on you. All right. No, I don't appreciate that. Get out of my face. Why well, you're not dead yet? Thank you. All right. Speed returns to normal. Let's head. These caves are. I mean, it's not caves. It's not a dungeon because we're out in the open. But it's a mystery dungeon. So, oh, we've made it somewhere. Ha! 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 Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, it's poor ugly. Oh, this running and dodging is really wearing me out. But it looks like we got you perfectly. Crying it. Ah. Uh. Hey, poor ugly. At least you got the easy part. I'm the one who had to run ahead and cut her off. Crack. Oh, it's talk. Crack. I'm super tired, croak. Oh dear, <laughs> talks around. Perhaps a sign any more exorcism. Croak, croak, croak. You're the one to talk. I saw you off in a puppy back there. Croak, croak, croak. No, I'm the mobile. Give us everything you got. Let's be on. <laughs> like she's gonna listen to you, or it'd be faster to just take them by force. Ah. Uh. Ah. Um. What love? That this girl doesn't. She doesn't have anything on her. What? Hey, where you stashing? I can't. <laughs> Oh, where are the Ender Guards? If you don't tell us, we'll have to force it after you. I hope you're prepared. Espion. Stop now! That looks like it must be Espion over there. All right, we made it. We're going to kick you fat ass bitches out. No. What's this you us you strange? We're the jigsaw pieces. We're to save Espion. What are these fools talking about? I don't get it, Grog. Grog, you are so irritating. I just want the job to be all over with. That's a bear accent for it. Grog, Grog, guess we'll have to take care of them. Let's get it over with quickly. You're right. Let's look at our only choice. Bro, ring it. Here they come, Jigsaw. I don't know who you fools are, but you picked the wrong body to crash. Let's go. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> okay, them voices were hard to do as hell. Hard to maintain, hard to do. Right, we need to hit these bitches hard. Now, Perugly's the fat one, so we're going to dual chop him. Oh yeah, we are. Everybody attacking. No, don't lower my attack. No one attack the Toxic Rogue. You attack that. No, I told you not to. What do you do? You attack the freaking Toxic Rogue. You stupid. Come on, get, get him up out. Get him up out. Get him up out. Everybody and their mother is attacking him. Hi, lower Toxic Rogue's attack. 
Everybody is attacking Todoroki. <gasps> Holy shit! Have we got an orange berry? Items, 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 orange berry! You need that, buddy. Yeah. Ah, oh, stop charming everyone. I'm gonna jewel chop you. And bodied! I'm gonna jewel chop you. You can have a jewel chop, and you can have a jewel chop. Okay. We're gonna go with another jewel chop. I should dragon rage it. Because we're not doing that much, and our attacks lowered. Although everybody is on you. Mm. Reviver Seed! Dragon Rage! Can you just go Dan? Dragon Rage! Thank you, Reviver Seed! We we lived that just because of that Reviver Seed. I am telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Scram! Okay. Okay. Hey, you okay? Did they get you? We're here to help you. Umbreon told us everything. I see. Umbreon, he... Thank you for saving me. I've probably seen better days, but I'll be fine. No, I am fine. Pokemon like that can't get the better of me. You've got some guts at least, that's for sure. I'm glad to hear it. More importantly though, I must hurry to Post Town. There's something I have to be sure of. Got it, let's go then. Umbreon's waiting for us too. Awesome sauce banana pants. Is what I said to you. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Espeon! Umbreon! Sniffle! <laughs> I'm so, I'm so glad you're alright! I didn't know I was more worried about you, but... As much as I wanted to enjoy this moment with you, there's something I have to do. I know, Espeon. We've got to at least thank Jigsaw and the others properly first. Of course. Jigsaw, Poseidon, everyone. I owe you all so much. You saved us. Neither of us would be here without you. No problem. We're just glad you're both okay. But the Pokemon who attacked you two, who could they be? Who knows? I've got no idea who they are, but... Umbreon. They really were after the Enter cards. So they were? That was my guess. I really don't know who the Pokemon that were attacked us were. But if they were after the Enter cards, then their goal seems obvious enough. Either they must want to get in our way of our research, or they plan to steal the Enter Cards because they want to go to the Great Glacier themselves. Shocker! What? What? Hey, wait up! You just said, uh, you know, you just said something amazing like it was nothing, right? Huh? Did I really? I just said they might be after the Enter Cards to get to the Great Glacier. Shocker! The, the Great Glacier? You say there's actually go? You can actually go to the Great Glacier? That mainly distant glacier that near Pokemon has air reach. You say? You say you can go there? Alright. Oh, I guess I hadn't mentioned any of this yet, had I? The two of us had dedicated our careers to studying the Great Glacier. Deep within the Great Glacier, that's where I must be. The great crystals that cause all matter surrounding it to float in the air. That is what Ambion believes. Great crystal that makes matter flow. There's no way to prove it exists except by going to the Great Glacier itself. Yawning! <laughs> but in front of the Great Glacier is a huge crevice that prevents anyone from ever reaching it. That's why we thought of using the ley lines. We wanted to use them to create a dungeon that would lead beyond the crevice. But that dungeon could lead us right up to the base of the Great Glacier. If we can make, just make the Ender Cards that will s create such a dungeon, we should be able to reach the Great Glacier. At least we think so. That's amazing! And that means that with both of your sets of Ender Cards together, you can actually reach the Great Glacier? Pretty much. Though we still need to make a few more adjustments, but... 
It might be too late for that now. Espion? From the looks of things, you don't have your enter cards anymore, do you? Did those crooks steal them from you? It's fine. It doesn't matter if they did. I don't even care about losing the ender cards. If you... As long as you are safe and here with me again, then I... Honestly, Umbreon, could you not leap to your own conclusions without giving me a chance to explain? The ender cards weren't stolen. What? But instead, well, I almost would have preferred it if they had been. The truth is that I... I've done something truly regrettable, Umbreon. Oh yeah, you trusted us. That was Espeon. Remember a couple of episodes back when Swadloom we got lost and then like he found the cards and the gem. Espeon must have told him to look after him. Oh, you here? Are you all right? You didn't get hurt. Please tell me you're okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm just fine. And these are. Uh, 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 are those the cards? But why Swadloon have them? I kept my promise, ma'am. I didn't tell nobody. Not at all. Yes, I see that. Thank you, little one. You must have been so scared. Nah, I wouldn't get so scared over that. I'm really strong. I'm... I'm so glad. Please forgive me. Oh, made me cry. I'm, I'm, I'm really okay, ma'am, honestly. Oh, please don't cry. What in the world is going on? I really can't imagine. Levani, Miss Espion, it's nice to meet you. I'm this boy's mother. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. What I did was unforgivable. Because of my actions, your son, this sweet child, was put in danger. Danger? If you don't mind, could you please explain what happened to my son? Of course. Ever since I lost sight of Umbreon, I've been on the run from our pursuers. I tried to make it to Bowstown, Town, but my enemies were always one step ahead. Apologies. I've been so close to Post Town for so long, but I never made it to it safely. I buried my precious belongings so they wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. But I couldn't stop worrying, so I went back to my hiding spot in the Inflora Forest. You remember this scene? You remember this scene? I made the way to the spot where I buried my things. Every moment I felt like my enemies might be only a few steps behind me. But when I reached my hiding spot, this young boy was there. You, what do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, so sorry. The, the ender cards. This child had dug up my precious belongings. They, they were there in the dirt, including the ender cards. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, uh, does this all belong to you, ma'am? I'm really sorry. I wouldn't have disturbed them if I knew they belonged to someone. I was rattled. If my pursuers had found this child, the intercards would have been lost forever. More importantly, though, if they had followed me into the forest, we still might be attacked at any moment. What to do? I searched desperately for an answer, and that's when I made a mistake. <sighs> child, you must listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Uh, okay. No, not like this. If I look desperate, he'll just be frightened. I have to be calm. Ready. Listen. It's true that these things belong to me, but is there something here that you wanted in particular? Yeah, I thought this red stone was pretty pretty. Is that right? Then I'll give you this stone. What? Really? It's yours. But first I need you to make me a promise. I want you to take those cards with you as well. These cards? That's right. I want you to keep them until I come and back, get them back from you, and the cards will be our little secret, alright? Just yours and mine. I don't want you to tell anyone else about these cards. What do you think? Can you promise me that? Yeah, I will. I promise. I won't tell nobody about your cards, ma'am. I live in Post Town. Come visit soon, okay? I will. That noise. Is someone coming? Okay, then. I've got to get going, but you're going straight home, right? Your mother will be worried about you. Yeah, I'm heading back now. See you later. Woohoo! I got the red jewel! And that was how I ended up entrusting the intercars to this child. But afterwards, I realized why I've done my folly. Despite any promises, our secret might not remain a secret for long. By placing the intercards in this child's care, 
If the Pokemon pursuing us somehow learned that he had the cards. It is. It, it's certainly true that. I wish Swadloon would have been the one to bear. As soon as I realized that, I hurried back to Inflora Forest at once, but it was too late. Swadloon was gone. We must have passed one another. You probably headed back into the forest right after we had gone to rescue Swadloon. I may have been desperate, but thinking about the danger I put that innocent boy in her. But I was on the run every moment after that. I never had a chance to look for him. And the whole time I was running, I was positively sick with worry. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness nothing has happened. Livani, please don't cry, Miss Espion. Listen to my mom, Mama. Listen to my mom, Mom. Please don't cry. You were so afraid that you acted out of fear. You felt you had no other choice. Yet even while you were being haunted, you kept my son in your heart. Thank you. And most importantly, my Swadloon kept his promise to you. That makes me proud. He is surely stronger for having shared this secret with you and being true to his word. As a mother, I am grateful for you that for that gift, Miss Espion. Mm, this is sad. It's happy sad, though. That's great, huh, Espion? Espion? Yes, everything has worked out. That's one mystery solved, at least. But Umbreon... What are the two of you planning to do now? Yeah, about that. It, if it's not too much trouble, would it be alright if we stayed here a bit longer? There's a good chance we'll be targeted again as soon as we leave Post Town, and neither of us is in the best of shape right now. That I suppose that's probably for the best. Of course you can stay. We aren't expecting any other guests, so keep your rooms as long as you need them. Thanks, Swana. We'll definitely take you up on that. Everyone should get used to seeing us as a regular fixture in the inn for a while. You'll still have to pay our bills, of course. I knew that. Okay, we done. Ooh, night sky. There's a, been a lot of story progression in today's episode. Today was definitely eventful, but at least Espion wasn't hurt, right? When we first met Espion, I thought she was really tough, but she also takes things seriously and tries really hard. I never thought she'd just burst into tears like that. I'm doing it again! <sighs> Umbreon's really single-minded too. I really, I like him. I really like both of them. It's true. It's obvious even to us how serious Espeon and Umbreon about their research. And what about the Ender cards they study? And the Magna Gate created by those cards? Flashback! At that moment, when the circle of light flooded the hill, the sight of that Magna Gate appearing from the middle of the blind light, blinding light that's something I'll never forget. And Umbrian even said that that was the incomplete version. What would it be like once it's complete? I kind of want to see that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, Jigsaw, I've been thinking. I'd really like to help Espeon and Umbrian with their research. What do you think? It wouldn't be a bad idea for Jigsaw pieces to help out, would it? I think it'd be great. Yay, I'm glad it's not just me. Thanks, Jigsaw. So we'll go talk to Umbreon about it tomorrow, okay? I guess we ought to call it a night. Tomorrow then. Night, Jigsaw. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Banana pants. And he says the same thing every single time. Every single time. Oh, uh, we got more text. Jigsaw, I know we talked about it last night, but let's go talk to Umbreon and Espeon first thing this morning. I want to tell them we're here to help however we can. I think they should still be at Swana's place. Let's go, Jigsaw. No, don't you tell me what to do. I'm going to look for... What is it to use for a water dojo? We still need one stone slab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mate. Okay. Well, let's check the wave casts. The V Whale! The wave cast? It's dark type. Ooh. We might have to spin the wheel on that one. Um. I don't think we have any dark types. In our team. Don't. Don't. 
Alright, um... So we're gonna spin the- We're gonna spin the V-Wheel! For the first- For the very first time! Spin the V-Wheel! Do do. V wheel. Let's spin the V wheel. Get my smiley face in the V-shaped area, and you win. Okay. Oh, and you can add um two more of my face all over the wheel. Some money, of course. Now press start to spin the wheel. Okay, I'm gonna spin the V wheel. Yep, go for it. Ah, uh, focus. Now press A to stop the wheel. Oh, shit. Land on my smiley face and you win. Win or lose, which will it be? No! Well, it's dark type then. <laughs> Too bad, you lost. Today's V-Way type will stay as dark type. Okay. Alright, we'll keep our team as it is then. Just because it's easier to for me on editing and everything else. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, a new traveling salesman has appeared. Ooh. But let's go and talk to Umbreon just like they wanted us to. I'm going to guess they're up here? Huh? They're not here. Did they leave already? Swan so should know where they are, they went. Where they are, where they went, where they went, where they went, where they went. What? Umbreon and Espeon? They've gone up the hill, I believe. I thought it would be a fine idea. Sure, they have not completely well, but they could use a little fresh air. Awesome. Awesome sauce of banana pants. Awesome sauce, banana pants. Huh? There they are, Umbreon and Espeon! Is it okay to be up and moving already? I was a bit worried myself, but they seem to be doing just fine. Of course we are! We're feeling loads better thanks to you all. We can't, but we can't just lie around. We lose, we'll lose all our momentum. After all, we're so close to completing our research. Really? Well, that's good to hear. In fact, it's your research that we came to talk about today. Jigsaw and I were talking it over last night, and we... Well, we want to both help you out to out with your work. What? What do you think? Could we be any of help? Uh, if you think we'd just be in the way, you can say so. Oh, oh, no, it's not that. I was thinking... I wasn't thinking anything like that. I'm thrilled in the fact that we've your offer to help. So then what is it? The truth is that we also had a bit of a talk last night, and... Well, we want to ask you something. What's that? Yeah, about that. What would you think about letting us join you? Join the Jigsaw Pieces, that is. Really? You want to join our team? We do. Of course, wanting to repay you for all you've done is part of it, but that's not the only reason. We're hoping you might lend us your strength to achieve our own dream. If we do manage to complete the Ender Cards and we'll su successfully summon the Magna Gate, Jigsaw and Poseidon, we, we want you to go to the Great Glacier with us. Everyone. Everywhere. What? The Jigsaw Pizza. You're going in with Umbreon and Espeon? Through Magna Gate and to the Great Glacier, you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Were you all eavesdropping? Seriously, you guys. We've nearly completed our research now, so the two of us can handle that just fine. But the Great Glacier is still a complete unknown after all. We have no idea what might happen there. If the two of us went alone, I don't know what that I don't know that we would make it back. But if we were the jigsaw pieces, then we should be able to focus on our studies of the Great Glacier without any worries. I know this may be a great inconvenience to you all, and you must be p busy pursuing your own adventures, but no way. We'd love to have you join us. Jigsaw, you think so too, right? Awesome! You're actually gonna turn to the Great Glacier! That's what great adventure might be waiting there? I could chill just thinking about it. Gravy, seems like there will be more business for me to give you go. There's gonna be a ton of ice, right? 
with a name like Great Glacier. I want to try making a house out of that ice. Bring me back anything that looks kind of like it could be good for building. Boss, I had to be the one to bring everyone down, but you know they haven't decided to go to the Great Glacier for sure yet, right? What? Yeah, that's true, huh? I mean, Jigsaw hasn't even agreed to or nothing. Oh, you will agree, won't you, Jigsaw? Jigsaw, you can't possibly... You can't possibly be thinking of saying no. Uh, 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 don't take it to heart, Umbreon and Espeon. I know our strange old little Jigsaw always getting hung up on absolute nonsense here. <laughs> just give me one second, would you? Now you just listen to me, for, okay, for a sec, Jigsaw, okay? The Great Glacier is like an adventurous or a quest. If the land, it's a land that no one has ever set foot on. We could be the first Pokemon ever to go and find out what's there. If you really are an adventurer, you go. No matter how dangerous it is, you go. You can't ruin this chance for us. You've got it. Oh, wait, I wasn't hesitating or worrying or anything. Everyone just kept jumping in with their own assumptions. So I never even got to the chance to say yes. So what are you going to do, Jigsaw? Do you want to let Umbreon and Espeon join our team? Hmm. What should I say? Uh, no. Of course. Of course. Jigsaw. Alright, I guess that decides it then. Umbreon, Espeon, you are now officially members of the Jigsaw Pieces. Yay! We are all on the same team from now on, huh? Do your best, Umbreon and Espeon. It's kind of exciting to ever get new team members, huh? We're gonna board you two. Thank you all. I'm so relieved you have us. Thanks everyone, really. But while I feel a bit sad saying bad saying it right after you let us join your team, like I said before, we're so close to being done with our all our research, so for now, we know. We feel the same way after all. Right now we all just want you to focus on your research. It's fine if you don't join the party for any requests right now. Thanks. If we complete our research and perfect the enter cards, we'll be sure to let you know at once. Hmm please land us all all of us know too, hmm. I want to see what these other cards can do. Yeah, no way I'm missing that. Of course. Alright. Then let the rest of us should go focus on doing jobs from the boards for now. That can give Umbreon and Espeon time to get their research done. <sighs> and when they do complete the ender cards, we're all going together to the Great Glacier. Yeah! That was a hell of a lot of talking and... We're going to wrap up today's episode here. We had a heck of a lot of story, which I'm happy about. But that was a lot of reading. A lot of reading. So we're going to wrap up today's episode here. If you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you have, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Jamie Jigsaw. I upload daily, and I'll see you guys next time.